friends and welcome to another Happy Mail Monday. I'm going to apologize in advance as I usually apologize somewhere along the line for being spacey, but it's been a really long, eh, <laughs> emotionally wrought week to, uh, <laughs> to uh, use my, my language skills. Uh, well, maybe, I don't know. Well, not so well. <laughs> Use some words that aren't usually used. Rot, W-O, W-R-O-G-H-T, because you are all interested in how that was spelled. <laughs> oh, goodness. I have some lovely mail to share f- with you today and even some mystery mail. So, let us get to it. So much mail. I'm so looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm always looking forward to the mail. It's not that, that, a surprise to uh, anyone, basically. So first up, we have some mystery mail. No idea, but looks like it's local because it's an Australian stamp. And let's see how we go. I've been wondering if I should like, obviously not open them completely, but like just open them like the ends <laughs> before I start the video so you don't have to listen to all that stuff and I can save some time but then again I tend to ramble when I'm opening them so I don't know if that's something you enjoy oh goodness oh <laughs> lovely zines from Kira okay so what am I looking at I'm looking at Fully Sick Volume 2, the big sad edition. Just go a little bit slower so you can take in the goodness of that cover. Let's see. And then by Amber is Blue. And also, (laughs) small, oh come on, focus for me camera, you can do it. There we go. (laughs) Small stories. By Alison Evans. Very cute. Now the, um, Kira was going through their zine collection and asked if I wanted any doubles. And of course, (laughs) yes, please. (laughs) Thank you so much. So yeah, Kira sent these along and I'm so excited because I was actually, um, really wanting to get my hands on um, Fully Sick Volume 5, as well as other ones as well. I have to make sure which ones I have and don't have, but anyway, yeah. So thank you, Kira. Thank you for uh, um, organizing your zine collection and and thus enabling me to uh, have a few more zines in my my zine collection. Thank you. (laughs) I need to organize mine as well. I'm feeling very inspired by uh, Kira. Uh, I'll put links in the description, as always, to um, Kira, as well as to Amber is Blue and uh, Allison Evans. But um, in Kira's recent pictures, you'll see they have everything, all their zines nicely organized, and I'm a little bit jealous. <laughs> So I'm feeling very inspired, like I have to, not that I have to, but I mean, really, I should (laughs) organize my zine collection like that. So yes, thank you, Kira. And yes, um, if you are cleaning out your zine collection and find any doubles, you will definitely, your zines will find a home with me. And if they don't, they will find a home with, um, copy and destroy. (laughs) Goodness. Oh, if I only drink, uh coffee lots of coffee if only <laughs> goodness so yes thank you Kira I appreciate that <laughs> next up we have mail from Billy bum, bum, bum. Ooh, interesting stickers on the back search your soul from sticker nation oh yeah um I was I mentioned a while back on the we make zines dot com forum that I, like there are so many things I want to do with sea greens but one thing I'd really like to do is uh, get like the stickers and stuff like that I want to do stickers and pins badges 
all that stuff but yeah stickers definitely as well and Billy recommended sticker nation oh goodness now what has Billy sent along dear Nix here's my new issue Oh, cool. So Billy writes uh, last night at the casino, but um, he also has a perzine called Proof I Exist. And this is number 28 that he sent along. Oh, cool. Let's see. And cool typewriter on the back in this lovely blue. Now, I don't know if the camera lighting is picking it up very well, but it's a nice kind of yellowy cream color as are the pages and oh cool oh I don't want to I don't want to sh show too much but I will say it's uh, show this because it's nice blue uh, text on the cream paper oh that's so cool oh I love it oh goodness don't get distracted <laughs> Thank you, Billy, for sending that along. Billy and I have um, recently been trading quite a bit uh, for perzines and things like that, making sure we're up to date with <laughs> each other's <laughs> zine series and things like that. Oh, goodness, I was not expecting this at all. Thank you so much, Billy. I, I really appreciate it. Oh, cool. And then, let's see, the note has <laughs> kind of the opposite of the um the back of the zine cover oh goodness oh gosh if i could just sit and read zines all day that would be really brilliant and review them of course because you know to receive we need to give back <laughs> that's my philosophy on things but yeah thank you billy oh that looks that looks really cool i'm wondering if you've done some sort of um different sort of printing with it because it doesn't look like Rizzo as such but it does I don't know it could just be the blue and the different paper and that blue ink and the different paper that sort of thing so yeah I'm looking forward to checking it out and depending on when you're watching this sending you an email <laughs> as well as a letter of course I've got mail ready to send to you yes it is the second or third week since I mentioned um, having my big mail stack and I yeah I still have mail to go ah postage costs what can I say <laughs> I have like two dollars to my name right now <laughs> goodness. oh I didn't wash you tape the oh goodness <laughs> this one comes from true zine marine I have no idea I was not expecting any mail but there are some very cool things on the back some nice heart stickers and see if I can get there we go illuminate the darkness very cool but I'll try to bring it around because I haven't washied both addresses Let's see if you can see those cool sticker stamp things going on very cool I like that those look really neat did you want to make sure to get a good view I think those are really neat anyway yeah so I won't <laughs> try to navigate around because you have the customs declaration which has the person's address on it but um Shelly Truzy Marine has also written her address on there as well oh and what do we have well zines of course oh goodness me a long letter Let's see. I'll just have a skim. Let's see what this is all about. Let's see. Okay, so we do have a little note in here that I should probably share. It's not Marine, it's Marin for Marin County in California. Well, that's cool. I'll probably still say True Zine Marine just because it rhymes, but it's technically True Zine, True Zine Marin. It's a big long letter, and so I won't, uh, you know. <laughs> share the whole thing but we have some awesome new zine new to me zines from true zine marin <laughs> 
And first up is the New Mexico Montage Plus. Interesting, interesting. So we have that kind of front cover and then we have this back cover. And I don't know, is it a split scene? I'm not entirely sure. Not new. I guess I'll find out later because <laughs> I should not read scenes while I'm <laughs> doing the video. Ooh, I'm now, is this a sticker? It feels like a sticker. It feels like a sticker, but I don't want to pick at it too much just in case. But one of those um, bits that was on the back as well, Illuminate the Darkness. Very, very cool. Let's see. I had another zine. <laughs> Oh, cool. Um, I bought zines at Tower Records. <laughs> now, I think I'm remembering that correctly, that Tower Records was in a movie. It was a movie? Was that the title of the movie? Gosh. Oh, fuzzy mind. Anyway, <laughs> so that's why I'm laughing, because I think it's from a movie, or if it isn't um, the title of the movie itself. Please enjoy these free stickers courtesy of, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but <laughs> it's something from menopause. Fr fr fitziv <laughs> something <laughs> very difficult to peel, not weatherproof, will fade in the sun. See that? Now tell me how you would pronounce that. <laughs> oh, made it not focus. There we go. Interesting. And just because we're on the video. Oh, okay. So it, these are the, are the stickers. Cool. Whoop. <laughs> just tuck them back inside. Stickers. Interesting. Okay, and now we have found words number three. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. The nonfiction company division of, division of topic publications. Have not heard of it, but let's see. Seen recipes and stories and mm. Interesting. Okay. I feel like I'm calling everything interesting today, but it is. Just because I say it a lot doesn't make it any less true. <laughs> and the last little bit is wrapped up in bubble wrap. Oh, this is so cute. It's a teeny tiny little post box. Now, I'm gonna have to try to get the camera to Oops, it's going to unfocus as I turn it, but I want to show you the dimensions a bit. How cute is that? It's so small. Oh, itty bitty. Oh, goodness, I don't even know. Hmm. Maybe for right now, I'll just put it next to um, Z Ninja. Or, actually, right right in front of the G. <laughs> you cannot make it out from the distance of the camera, so I apologize for that. But yeah, teeny tiny little mailbox thing. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you. Oh, goodness. Thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> a lovely week in scenes to be sure. Thank you so much, True Zine Marin. <laughs> Marin? Uh, yeah, that's what it said. <laughs> True Zine Marin. And thank you, Billy. And thank you, Kira. And thank you by proxy of Kira. <laughs> I'm probably not using those words correctly, but um, thank you, Amber is Blue as well for making amazing zines. And yes, thank you all for sending me lovely mail. It has been, as I mentioned, quite the week. And I feel like I say that a lot, but what can I say? Maybe I'm just a bit of a sensitive, sensitive Sally. Is that what we're going to say? <laughs> Something like that. But yes, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm looking forward to digging into all the zines. 
mind you, I have quite the collection going and I'm so I'm excited about that but <laughs> if anybody wants anything reviewed for a, a specific launch or specific timeline please let me know because it's kind of um yeah <laughs> my system isn't perfect so yes I'm always open to knowing those things so I can help you have a review for whatever it is worth <laughs> out on a specific date. So yes, I do. Ah, oh, goodness. I feel a little awkward today. And yeah, I, I imagine I'm always a little awkward, so I don't know how much it is or isn't coming through. But yes, I'm feeling just a little bit here, there, and everywhere. Um, yeah. But I hope one thing that is not at all awkward or unclear is that I am very grateful for the mail, the lovely mail, the zine mail, any mail, the cute cute little bits and bobs mail anything like i appreciate it all thank you so so much i hope you enjoy these videos mail openings and whatnot um <laughs> that sort of thing seeing my strange and maybe not so strange my joyful <laughs> reactions to opening the mail uh, if you would like to send me anything, my post box is in the description of the video, or if you're watching this on seagreenscenes.com, it is in, my post box is in the sidebar. And yeah, that's me for this week. Uh, I'm not sure when the podcast is going to come out because it's a rather big subject and I'm still working on it. And yes, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week ahead. Uh, make some zines, send some mail, spread some sunshine, and yeah, um, the offer from, oh gosh, is it one or two videos ago? Anyway, the, the, the offer, the <laughs> super secret but not so secret offer is still definitely open if you would like some mail from me. <laughs> Have a wonderful week. Until next time. Mwah. Okay, letting my hair down. <laughs> this is not the uh, only video I'm doing today, so yeah. Let's hope the same top but with hair down is enough of a difference for people not to make any negative commentary. <laughs> uh, what can I say? <laughs>